And we are back, folks, to more Freedom Planet 2. And yes, we are going to be continuing through this game, folks. This whole stadium battle thing kind of reminds me of this Grizz Pit area. The Grizz Pit chapter of Paper Mario of the Thousand's Door. I don't know. That's just me. This is like basically a stadium, basically, where first off we do like a course. Then we do like some enemy battles. And then we do like a battle royale. And then we do like a one-on-one -on -one race. And then boom, the battle spear arc is finished. Then we'll move on to the next arc. And yeah. Could have been a lot faster, but oh, there we go. Now on to the next round. Wow, really? B? B for bitch. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have probably got, a lot, you know, like an S on this. Yeah, and that's what makes the game a lot more fun to do. Trying to get all the S's and all that. It's way hard to get an S rank in the Sonic Rush games. Like, starting from Sonic Rush through the newer ones... I could say Forces was too easy to get an S. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Forces was way too easy to get an S rank on this. And some of the other S ranks, um, 06 was not bad, it's not much of a big deal. The sequel of Rush was a lot harder to do. Colors would be a lot simpler to do, you know, Colors DS is simpler to do, getting S rank. But, you know, when it comes to the 3. G Generations 3DS, eh, I don't know, maybe tricky to do. Unleashed was not bad, but it can be hit or miss when it comes to ranks. So you gotta be like really, really good. And then, and then now we have Colors Wii, uh, and then I guess uh, Lost World 3. Okay, that one, that one sucks ass. Lost World, uh, so Colors Wii was like a snore fest. It was tricky to do. And Generations, uh, it's hit or miss again, just like Unleashed. They're both run by the same engine, of course. And now, we shall begin the Battle Royale! Here goes nothing! And another B! B for bitch! Oh yeah! Piece of cake! Child's play. So what now? Whoa! Looks like somebody didn't get the memo! Only the last fighter standing can ultimately face the champion of the Battle Sphere! Oh, right. Alright, here's the plan. You guys take the fall, and I'll take on the champ. No, you have done well to come this far, but facing the champion is my responsibility. What? You don't think I can handle this? Guess we're going to have to settle this the hard way, huh? Oh, <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this! Now, if you may not notice, we actually, you know, decided to cut the loading screen times because we thought that the loading screens were way too long. So with that, we decided to change it and decided to cut it so that way we should, you know, get to the gameplay of the gameplay pretty quickly. So yeah, we decided to do that and we may do that for the rest of the, you know, the rest of the entire series. Now, obviously, as what the, what Strife said in his Sage livestream back at 2020, the way, uh, the strategy to play this is to make sure you just, just, you know, just dodge and all that. Just, you know, don't make sure you get hit or not, you know, all that kind of stuff. And with that, you shouldn't have much of a big deal. And then, yeah. Eventually, all of these three CPUs will just keep fucking up with each other and all that, and then, yeah. And then later, once there's like one of them, it's, 
it's just one on one. You and them, you and him, and then boom, there you go. It didn't even hit that much? The heck? Dude, let me get him down. God, they taking a while to die. Flip. About time at last. Alright, now for the duel. And of course I get another. God damn it. Another B. B for bitch. That was awesome. Let's do it again. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. You did great! Do not foul this up. Ladies and gentlemen, the self-proclaimed defender of the defenseless, the red wing of justice, our very own champion of the battle sphere, Captain Kalau! Captain Kalau, I presume? You're a hard person to get a hold of, you know that? You have fought well, citizen. I, Captain Kalau, acknowledge your fortune. I am honored, Captain, and would like to extend to you an invitation. Shang Tu is besieged by war machines and needs stalwart heroes to defend it. Please, in the name of justice, help us protect our city. <laughs> is that so? Very well. I will make time to listen to your intriguing offer. What first? I dare you to face one final challenge. That's, That's right, right folks. folks! The champion himself will decide what a contestant's final challenge will be! Just to know, it's always a race in this one, no matter what. Really? If they ever did, like, a boss or a home run, which that's never happening, a home run would be like, you know, the ones where you use the bats, you know, you saw in Zowland last episode. Yeah, you know, that, that would probably do that, which... That would be a lot challenging than a race. It's pretty simple. And if they ever did, like, uh, hold on. Uh, if they ever did, like, a boss, then you just, I guess, face off in a one on one, I guess. Eventually, you will fight against Captain Claw, which that'll be later in the story. So, you'll see that. And all you do is basically race him over and over again, like do the same loop over and over, basically. And yeah, that's the game right there, folks. Honestly, this is way better than the My Hero Academia, uh, you know, Bullseye arc. The, the UA Sports Festival arc, it's just, you know, it's way fun to watch the... No, no, no. This is way fun to watch than the UA Sports Festival of My Hero Academia. It is, for real. Like, it could have been very better. Like, it did have some games and all that, but most of it could have been done in one episode, I think. I forgot how many episodes they promoted. The whole stadium battle took a while, and I think it could have been better if they just cut into one part, you know, one episode. I'm just saying. Here, it's like, very done quickly, in pacing. Another freaking B. Fuck me, I'm dead. I don't believe what I'm seeing, folks! Our newcomer has beaten Captain Kalau's challenge! Uh, I have tasted defeat! Victory is yours! Okay, so now that you're done being over dramatic, can we please have a serious talk about you helping us? We could use your help protecting our kingdoms. Very well. My people will review your request and pertinent details, but first, I would tend to some unresolved matters. I will message you once I'm done. You have my word. Thank you for your time, sir. Here to present the grand prize for the Battle Royale is the honorable, handsome, and highly humble leader of our fair city, our very own Mayor Zhao! Thank you, everyone! Thank you! <laughs> Allow me to present the grand prize! Everyone stand back! 
Ghost is going to be good! Your reward is... Coupons! For you and five of your friends to dine at City Hall in glorious downtown Shangmu. What? Thank you, Mayor Zhao! <laughs> what an honor! I suppose I could use a free hot meal. Eventually, they'll be important later on. Funny, oh, come on, don't hilarious. spoil that. Eh, who cares? People have already done so anyway. I mean, the hell. You were right about those fighters. Shang Tu breeds them tough, I'll grant them that. But they're nothing that the captain can't handle at full strength. Good. But I have no intention of underestimating them. Nothing can be left to chance. Not this time. That was so awesome! Except for the part where we didn't win anything. That was stupid. Look on the bright side. We got the captain's attention. And we can eat at Mayor Zell's mansion whenever we want! Yeah, I guess. And yes, once you get Pangu, which that's like after we're done with the museum part, we can battle against the clone of her, you know, clone of the character basically, which that's cool. So yeah. Done. Hey, another bee I got. What do you know? Gee, what is with these darn bees, man? So right here, basically, this is a museum where you basically, uh, you know, after you beat each stage by stage, you will get, like, unlockables, you know, and all that. And you have to have the set amount of stuff, so that way you'll be able to make all this stuff. And I think if you get, like, all of it, you may be able to get, like, some artwork, I think, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, if you want to get this very quickly, just head on and finish up Avalon Museum, and then, boom, there you go, you got all that stuff. Eh, we might show off this in like in the very extras video, which that's gonna be later in the future when we finish the entirety of the series. You know, this let's play, so yeah. Alright then, um, let's continue back, sorry about that, so with that, um, let's get started to the next one, right here, Tiger Falls. they need to track down a thief that's been stealing weapons. Shui Gang has become a close ally. It would be our honor to assist them in their time of need. Alright, sorry about that, um, <laughs> yeah, apparently, uh, Usubaki died <laughs> in the stage, so we decided... And just restart from scratch. Or no, I don't think it was. I think it... Whatever. I think it was. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, let us continue uh, to this. And yeah. Anyway, um... Tiger Falls, eh? Um... What should I say? Well, Tiger Falls? Um... That's definitely... What is the stage based off of? I have no clue. Um... 
Legends. It's tricky for me to say. I don't know. Maybe it was from CD, I think. I don't know. Ah, uh, boy, this is tricky. It has waterfalls in it, I'm not really sure. I guess Jungle Joyride, but I have something that is sort of similar to that. My take. But this... Mm, maybe, but I'm not totally sure. <laughs> it's a stage. I don't know. Clearly, I have no ch you know, I have no clue. Yeah. Just to know, folks. So, yeah. Okay, um, there's a lot of places you can go. One thing that's pretty new to this is you could... Yeah, uh, I think we're, they already showed this ago, so... Yeah, you can go to each area to area, so like that, so yeah. Okay, this area is pretty tricky, actually, to get the seat, get both of the treasure chests. You're playing as Lilac, you'll have to, like, grab, you, you'll have to, like, use your Dragon Boost, because it's the only way to make it there. And if I doubt if you play as Carol, um, I guess wall climbing, which, okay. If you're playing as, okay, that was hilarious. Alright, you got it. That should be the CD right there. Yeah, we collected the CD, you go, and uh, hold it on. So, yeah. So, I guess apparently if you do restart the stage, you'll still get the item you still got. So, yeah. So, you don't have to, like, complete the stage in order to get it. So, this is just like Sonic Unleashed. Um, Sonic Unleashed from, uh, Wii. Uh, no, no, no. 360 PS3. Fuck. Ah. But yeah, it's sort of something like that. And if you're playing as Nira, um, as uh, they they say, um, you have to use uh, one of the ice sticks. You know, use the ice projectiles so that way you can create a platform and make it up there. She has to be the hardest out of all the you know out of the four because of that. Uh, come on, come on, you can do this. Oh, there you go. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, this part is so hard. I don't. I don't know how they made that, but okay. That, that that's something. Okay, I'll give them that. I do like the way they have uh, the platforms uh, and those uh, ha those hang gliders. You like? I forgot what they were like. Yeah, these where you can like, you know, hold them and all that, grab onto them. Sort of similar to the Sonic series. Whether it's on Genesis or Adventure. When I'm, you know, like Adventure games like uh, Sonic Adventure 2, I think that had that. Um, I think Sonic Heroes and Shadow had that. Uh, Bro 06. Oh, yeah, I think 06. Yeah, 06 had that too. And then the Boost games. Obviously, it's so easy to... It's so appealing in the boost games, obviously. Come on. Like, it's the same thing. <laughs> ah, boy. Okay, now I got these things. Yeah, you do get hurt by them if you be, don't be careful. So, I recommend blocking. So, yeah. Block, 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 block. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah. That's the area where I died. I gotta be careful this time. And this time, do not die. Yeah, hopefully. Alright. Oh, I gotta wait until this. Okay then. And... Okay, then we go up. Grab that. And... Okay, that's it. Alright. That's a good one. Yay! Yay! Whatever. <laughs> okay then. Um... Good, we got a life. That's nice. Yeah, when I was playing this, yeah, it's sometimes the life bar, you know, sometimes shows up when you're at that point. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm assuming the game didn't patch up that yet. So, yeah, I think that's probably my guess. Or maybe I was just using the wrong items. I don't know. That's just me. Yep, this is the boss that you would see in the trailers. Yeah, they, like, showed you, like, almost everything in the game. And then as for the rest of the game, uh, 
yeah, the rest of the game will be spoilers, obviously. This is not really spoilers. I mean, you've already seen this anyway in the direct or the stream, so obviously who would say no to that? So yeah. Alright, we're in the Shugan Palace. Hmm. Oh, what's with the lags going on? I don't know. Uh, I'm probably sure... Okay, yeah. Here, you could... This is the view. Yeah. You can't really see Lilac. Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay, then. Um... I kind of feel like they could have done something. Alright, how about this? Um... Okay... Ah, okay, that's good. Uh, okay then. All right, that's all. That's the only ones. All right. Eh, just do it for fun. Heh. <laughs> These are all the shots you can take a picture of. Yeah, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, you can delete these if you want to. Which that's cool. I don't know why the lag's going on. It's happened on last episode, and now it's this episode. I'm going to assume it's the... Yeah, I'm playing this on, like, an old version. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably sure eventually it'll get patched up, so, yeah. So, alrighty then. Anyway. Uh, let's head over to... Yeah, yeah, you can also sit on these. Yeah, that's right. I do like the way how it's designed, although... Uh, you know, with the water right there, and then... The, the ground, there's a lot of stuff right there. I mean, it is Shui Gung, of course, yeah. Based off of a city. So, yeah. Yay! Okay, then. Oh, yeah. That must be uh, Cordelia. Yeah, Princess Cordelia. Yeah. You'll see what she has, in, you know, in, in this game later on. So, yeah. When we get to her, yeah, you'll see what that will be. So, yeah. Alright. Anyway. Um... Let's head over, um, oh, what do we got here? The Daybreakers? Um, okay then. Anyway, let's head over, uh, the top, and then, yeah, you know what, after that, we're just gonna head over here, yeah. There is a shortcut to this, yeah, take this, and then, yeah, I'll take you all the way right there, so, yeah. So, with that, let us begin. Good evening, King Dale. The sun hasn't even set yet. Seems like these infernal devices are useful after all. So, he sent you, did he? Very well. We need you to track down a thief. A large portion of our weapons and steel reserves have mysteriously vanished. And no, I am not imagining things. Steel, huh? Not profitable enough for the red scarves. My brother wouldn't steal from me. I'd bust him up good. Anyway, we believe the supplies were taken north but I don't want to send my soldiers out there until we know who or what we're dealing with. You can count on me, your majesty. I'll get to the bottom of this. Now, of course, my reaction to that would be Spade would be in this part. But no, not really, actually. Oh, yeah. The Aveline Museum. Uh, I see. Yeah, I think you can look at any of the dialogues anyway, as long like as long as you keep pressing up, uh, talking to him every, many times. So yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah, that was my reaction. I actually thought Spade actually was the one who did that because, I mean, if they're gonna track a thief, and despite uh, besides they put like the red you know scented bar in there, so I mean, what what could you go you wrong? Magister sent me. Well, my nose anyway. 
Thought you could use a bloodhound on your team. Detective Mila is on the case, too. Or two. The first rule of detectiving is to never let your mark know you're there. Ain't that right, partner? I'm not your partner, Pop. Mila, are you sure you want to come along? If you want to sit this one out... It's fine. We can split up to cover more ground. So, what's the sit rep? We're heading north. We'll probably find what we're looking for there. Fine. Let's get this over with. Besides, what could go wrong? I mean, it, I mean, that's what he would do, of course. So, uh, yeah, well... Huh. I never knew you can actually go in the water. Huh. That's cool. And you can't drown. <laughs> yeah, of course they will let you not let you do that, of course. Smarty. Eh? Alrighty then. Um... Yeah, you can't really drown. This is infinite, sw you know, breathing. Yeah, this is just like Sonic Unleashed. Holy balls. So now we're on to Robot ba Graveyard. I, I can't even get it right, God damn it. Anyway, let's get started. This stage, um, it has similar background to Battle Glacier, so there's that. I mean, I already explained what was the inspiration back then, of course, in my FP1 Let's Play. Um, as for this, I don't know if there's anything based off of with this robotic structure and all that. I mean, I don't really see it, so anyway, let's just get to it. This arc is kind of like, basically like, sort of like a recap of, you know, sort of like a, let's continue, you know, the continuation of FP1, basically. Yeah, you know, they clean up all of Revan's robots and all that, anomalies, blah, 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 that they mention in the, you know, in the ending of this story, of, you know, you know of Freedom Planet 1. So, of course, they do like some, you know, sort of a continuation. And, yeah, do that, of course. And... As for the other arcs, the that arc right here, the Battle Spear arc, I mean, it, it's basically, you know, just an introducement to, um, fuck, uh, Captain Claw, as well as the Battle Spear battle thing, which that was fun to watch. And the Airship Sequana thing, it's an introduction of Ah and Cory, you know, Corzon. I'd say the I'd say the Airship one was really fun. The Robot Graveyard, uh, it, I could say it's the second out of the, those, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Out of the three, basically, so, yeah. God damn, what do we have here? It can't be. She left the planet. What are they? Bad news. Probably about to get worse. Whatever. I'll just give him a one-way ticket home, courtesy of the Hundred Hook Punch. Make like math tutors and divide their numbers. I'll see you on the other side. They do explain what happened to Lord Brevin, of course, in, uh, in, you know, in the Sage Direct. He, like, left Avalos, basically. And, yeah. So he wouldn't be here, of course. So, yeah. My guess is that he went to maybe Perusa, because that's the location we'll get to later on in the game, so... Yeah, that's totally what I think. But yeah, poor Brevin. He's not in this game. But uh, there is something I could say, but that's later towards the game. Those snowball things are pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really- Oh, this is something you would see in Lost World. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, it was in the Frozen Factory Act 2 stage in Lost World, where they have the, you know, it's a level where Sonic just turns into a snowball and all that. Oh, yeah, that. I see where they, that idea came from. I do not, I do not like, you know, I don't like the Wii U Lost World as well as 3DS, but that stage, eh, it was whatever. I hate the way how it's, you know, platform-based. I mean, yeah, I mean, platforming is what it is. Oh, here we go. Please state your identity. Uh, Sash Lilac. I'm sorry, I did not understand. Sash Lilac. Did you mean Squidhead? What? Oh, someone is definitely going to pay for that. And I get the feeling I know who. Enemies detected. 
Yep, here he is. It's Syntax. He's back. I mean, he, he basically would he would have been dead right there. So there it is. So yeah, you'd expect that to happen. <laughs> Squidhead, eh? I bet they kind of referenced it from a Squid Game. It's still something I haven't even watched. So yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, back to Lost World. I forgot what I was saying, but yeah. It wasn't a game I really liked anyway. As for that Frozen Factory 2 stage, eh, I'd say it's just very, very annoying anyway to do it, I think, when I first played it on keyboard. I haven't played it on controller mode. I don't know, maybe it might be sort of different from what I think of it in perspective, but eh. Unless I even like try to like replay the game, but eh, who knows. Uh, it's it's something I never really liked anyway, so yeah. Anyway, uh, the boss is almost done, so yeah. With that let's finish this off. Thanks, Eskel. Just in time. Where's Mila? The pup's keeping watch outside. I'm here to help you search the place. Or punch things, probably. Have you found the thief? Worse. We found a hideout that's swarming with Brevin's robots. That is unsettling news. Did you encounter the villain himself? We haven't found anyone yet, but someone has to be controlling them. Find out who it is. I will assemble a strike force if necessary. And now to Shade Armory. A level where, yeah, this area exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do not know, but I guess these undead robots from the graveyard, um, I guess they all made it like this, I guess. I guess you could say this is Brevin's new area, but the thing is, Brevin's not here, so... no. Yeah, poor him. Oh well. There is, you know, everything right here is basically, yeah. Not really complete. Yeah, it's not complete, basically. That is what it is, of course. So, uh, yeah, take a look. Everything of this is just, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I could say, y'all, because, yeah. Though these enemies right here, the enemies that are pretty similar to FP1, but what's something new is that they can use samurai swords. Not only guns, but that. Yeah. Seems like they've actually learned some training, because, you know, Mr. Brevin right here. Yeah, Brevin is a knife fighter, of course. I mean, who all knows the old knife trick that he does? Yeah that killed the king of Shui Gong. Who remembers that? Ah, yes, I'm sure everybody knows that Brevin does that shit. <laughs> and with that, um, I don't even know what would be the inspiration of this. Maybe one of the Sonic Adventure levels? I know what the Sonic levels you're talking about. I guess Final Egg, I guess? Eh, I guess. I don't know. There's more than that than just that. You know, there's more than that than just that. I'm just saying. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's move on. This is where we use the lever thing, which is a puzzle. So, yeah, eventually this game has more puzzles later on. So, yeah. As the levels do get longer, yeah. It can get pretty intense. So, yeah. Oh, God. Damn, watch out.
Um, aren't we supposed to be going up to that, you know, that platform up there? I mean, it's up there, you know? What, like, go up, like, brah. Where, where are you going? You're going the wrong direction. You're going at... Really? Why? Dude, are you seriously going in the right direction? You're supposed to go... Dude, head over up there. There's a platform right there to get up on. That's not gonna do anything. You have to get up... Yeah, get up to the dark platform. You kidding me? Yeah, go up there. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, it's cool they have the assist stuff here, right there. Yeah. Anyway, wouldn't that be similar to Mania's flying battery zone? Because they have some trash stuff right there, of course. And a boss, and the boss fight actually, you know, uses trash, to, you know, destroy, you know, Sonic and all that, you know, sort of like that. Huh? That actually makes sense. Now come to think about it, yeah, this does kind of feel like, you know, flying battery zone for Mania, of course. Oh yeah, I do, I am aware that Christian Whitehead is also into this, so, yeah. Just I am barely, you know, just I am pretty aware of that, so, yeah. So, I don't know what I could say, but, eh, whatever. Oh boy. Uh... You're going, you're going backwards. Yeah, you need to go down. I mean, there is water, so you have to go down. Get your ass banned! Yeah, you gotta get banned, of course. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, get your... Okay, it's not here? Hmm. Yeah, these platforms, they're basically similar to the ones from Empty One, yeah, from Final Dreadnought. So they, like, picked up every, you know, the most similar assets in there and just walked it all in. Some of these are pretty new, like those platforms right there. Never heard of them, but, uh, okay, pretty new. Let's see. Um, man, I think that's like the only thing that's pretty new. All the other ones, um, oh, that one? Okay, yeah, that one. We all know that one was from MP1. We should probably remake that game, and this time actually get the projects done. So, yeah. I don't know if they even have, like, plans to do so. Unfortunately, so. I don't know. Get your ass banned! Oh yeah, maybe I might ban you too. You supporters, whatever you call them. Get your ass! You too, yeah. Get get out of here. There you go. Nice. Alright, moving on. Anyway, uh, we're on to the boss, I think. Yep, here we are. 
It's Syntax once again. This time, he's now in a spider form that has, yeah, eight, eight legs. Alrighty, now we have to the boss. No turning back, so let's begin. Come on! I don't have all day! No! no. Shut up! Mila! Fine! Then by the will of Lord Brevin, I sentence you to death! Mother! Um, hand over that robot! I, General Serpentine, command it! Get away from Mila! What are you doing here, Snake? Is Brevin back? Is he? <laughs> That's right! Tremble in fear. Once Lord Brevin returns, we'll all be nothing but a pitiful smear on the shattered remnants of this wretched planet! Once Lord Brevin returns, so he's not back. <sighs> Fortunately for you, you've caught me in a charitable mood. So here's the deal. You give me the robot. And I won't blast you and your friends into the stratosphere! Well, here's my deal. You leave us alone and you never come back. Nobody hurts my friends! Yeah! Fine! Then die! Yep, there he is. It's Serpentine. He's back. And just like FP1, he does very similar attacks just like the last time. There's one new ability. Oh, actually, there's two, actually. This is one. See? He shoots him, like, in a different position, so that's pretty new. And he has this missile attack. Oh, God. Okay, I think I I think I hit it. I think I did. Yeah. You have to shield it in order to dodge it, you know, to dodge the missile. Or you can just, like, maneuver around. But that's your choice. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. It's really cool that we see bosses have something new in it. I mean, who could say no, right? Oh well. I'm getting hit, but it, it, it's fine. I, I can finish this boss, no doubt. This boss isn't really that hard. Boom. <laughs> he got blasted by the missile. Poor Serpentine. But wait, there's more. Yes. There is more. Phase 2. Where this time he's in his wolf mech or something like that that he fuses with. Yeah, a lot of these robots like to fuse with this shit. Yeah from the undead. It's pretty creepy, but, I mean, hey, well, you know. Oh, God. It can be pretty annoying with these abilities. Especially when you play as Carol, which, later when I play as her, oh, boy. I don't know what I'll say, but I haven't, like, practiced her yet. <laughs> the other two characters, okay, that one's no debate. That one, they're not that hard to deal with. I mean, who could say no? So, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think I do recommend using the Dragon Boost towards it, yeah. So I guess if I had to do Carol, I would have to use the Jump Disc in order to do so, so, um... Alright, that's for a change, so, yeah, of course. Oh god. Shoot! Yeah, I forgot I actually can shoot anywhere at once, dude, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, that's the only way to dodge it, you have to, like, block it in order to do so. So yeah, keep that in the head. Alright, two more hits, and this guy should be finished.
Looks like Super Team just got blown up. KO! Yay! Alrighty. Now that we got all three arcs, we have something surprising up ahead. So, let us see what it is. So this Serpentine was behind the incident. A relief, to say the least. I'm just glad to hear that Brevin's not back. <laughs> father. Wait, that robot thing is his dad? No. His father, the previous king, was murdered by the intergalactic warlord Brevin. We chased Brevin off our world, but not before he left his mark on us. Oh, yeah. Heard the stories. Sounded made up. Didn't even think they could be true. <laughs> I wasn't strong enough. No, you weren't. Nira! There was nothing you could have done differently. But look at you now. You Did Nira just expose people. King Dale? Or Prince Dale, Dale, whatever? <laughs> what? You've only grown I guess it makes sense because happened. he can't do shit. What, what could he do? He can do dash attacks. Like, there's My one clip where he does. Take over from and here. I guess that's all. <laughs> I don't know. Truly returned. Makes be sense, because he's not a card thank dude. You, no. Thank you. Moved on. Moved on? Serpentine's never gonna move on. You'll see. You'll see. Oh god damn it. I didn't even mean to do that. Um Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's quit the stage. <laughs> god damn it. This is Maria Note reporting live. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news flash. Mayor Zhao has been kidnapped. He is currently being held hostage somewhere in the Globe Opera. Eyewitnesses say he was taken by mechanical creatures that emerged from Shang Mu's River Delta. What the? Guys, come quick! We've just received word that the military has been deployed to maintain order. Citizens are urged to remain calm and to stay in their homes. Yeah. We're getting a call. Yeah. On screen. Yeah. That's real. Hello, friends. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, funny ass. Completely horrifying. But you see. Okay, okay, okay. So long story short. They're gonna kill me if you don't give them what they want, so please, 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 just do what they say and get me out of here! Magister, how I've longed to see that look in your eyes. Is that... a water dragon? That's impossible. What trickery is this? No trickery at all, Magister. Such deception would be the purview of your grandfather, not I. You speak nonsense. Truly? Then why not tell your students what's really going on? Poor Hatchling. I'd laugh if it weren't such sad irony. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to make sure you don't hurt anyone else. This land is protected! Hatchling, have you ever wondered what happened to all of the water dragons? <sighs> Enough! What do you want? What I want is for you to answer for all that you've done. But for the time being, I have more pressing concerns. This is Bakunawa. Magnificent, is she not? But she is missing a vital component. The drone you call Tengu. The one that's in the room with you right now. I'd like to have it. Bring it to the Globe Opera. You'd better hurry, though. Red pandas are very much my favorite snack. See you soon. Magister, who was that? Magister? Our worst fears realized. A merciless centurion from a time when our land was ravaged by war.
a creature bred for battle with a lust for bloodshed. Murga. So what's she need the robot for? Some kind of data in its memory banks, perhaps? Something crucial to the operation of this... Bakunawa. That pilot, Corazon. She demanded that robot as well. Kari isn't with her! There's no way she'd do that! If you say so. An unfortunate coincidence, then. Let me go after her! Please, Your Excellency! I acknowledge your strength, brave Dragonblood. But her power is unlike anything you or your companions have ever faced before. Still, perhaps there is a slight hope that she can be reasoned with. Somehow, I don't think she wants to talk. Yeah, and the thought of just giving her the drone gives my stomach the rumblies. What about the one we took from Snake Man? It looks just like Pangu. Maybe it could fool her? Yeah, a fresh lick of blue paint and nobody will tell the difference. A fair enough distraction. We must buy as much time as we can to free the mayor. But first, we need to find a way inside that won't draw attention. Wah. On screen! Come in, my Shang Tuzhen friends. This is Captain Kalau. Perfect timing, Captain. We have an emergency. I am aware of the mayor's kidnapping, friends. I believe that together, we can quickly resolve this most dire of situations. You have our gratitude, Captain. Do you have the mayor's location? Indubitably. Mayor Zhao was last seen in the Central Theater area. We'll meet you there. Stay vigilant, friends. Anything could happen. This drone is dripping wet! This blue is not a judicious color. Sorry about that, Captain. You know what to do, right? I gotta say, with the, you know, recoloring thing, that would be probably interesting. Would be kind of useful for, like, the fake Emerald stuff back in Sonic Adventure 2 and all that. <laughs> I'd say that'd be a really great idea. So that way they could just call it a day and, yeah, wouldn't they? It's not that hard. Plus, I'd say the sequence would be easier to than the last, you know, another like event two, whatever it is. Duh. Yeah, it might be pretty hilarious, actually. Not gonna lie. I'm sure they carried the syntax drone, did they? Oh no, they didn't. Ah, so I guess that wouldn't really work. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, they could have done that, but eh, they don't have it because they just threw it in the trash pit for good. So, that can't do anything, I guess. So, uh, oh well. Uh, that's not there. <laughs> I could have said more, but, uh, I guess that's all I have to say because, yeah, there's anything I can really say about it. But I could say the level, I guess. Yep, we're on to Glow Pulpra. Uh, this is basically the outside of this area, where basically we just travel through the Glow Pulpra and the outside. Yeah, you can see there's the background right there. I mean, what do you can know? Then there's the second level, which we go inside through there. So, yeah. I don't think it's really... I don't know what's inspired of it. I don't know. So, yeah. It's definitely hard to tell, so... Uh, yeah. And I do like the soundtrack. It looks fucking cool. Oh, what do we have here? Open that up. Yay, we got some stuff. Alright. Yeah, this is where the spoilers come in. Yeah. Story gets very plot heavy, you know. Way too heavy, actually, when it comes to this. So, yeah. If anybody thought that... You know, Corazon uh, and the Serpentine thing were plot heavy. This is way heavier. And later on, it even gets way more. So, yeah. Time passes by and you'll know what is. So, yeah. <laughs> what could you tell?
Alrighty then, uh, sorry about that. Uh, we had to, you know, take a break a little bit, and yeah. This game is fucking long, yeah. Without further ado, let's just continue back. <laughs> so that way, we can get some more progress done. So far, the recording right now, as edited, it's, uh, it's probably gonna be like 56 minutes right now. So yeah, we're like, we're like, almost 66% done, probably like 60% of our, you know, of the video done, so yeah. Oh, you'll see what those are eventually, later when we get to the uh, boss, so yeah. Hmm, it looks like we're on the inside, as judging from the looks of it, yeah. Things kind of look similar to the ones from Super Paper Mario, I don't know. That's just me. I don't think they used to be like a similar museum kind thing in the Sonic games. I haven't really like seen one. Mostly just action, and yeah. Yeah, I don't really know anything about it. Maybe Rooftop Run? Maybe? I guess. I don't know. But, eh, I don't know. I'll, you know, I don't know honestly what I could really say, so... Uh, that's that. So that, I really don't know what I could say. <laughs> oh god, lasers. Be careful, dude. I do like the way they have uh, some of the OG Freedom Plan soundtracks inside there. That's pretty cool and unique. And they do this for a lot of themes, you know, themes as well, which, yeah, does bring back memories. Should have known this. Like he shoots the laser right in the front, like it's the same rhythm pattern, but it's very hard to do this precisely. Well, that's because every game has a pattern, you know. I mean, it's the game, okay? What do you have to say? Just wow. Okay, at least we can, you know, hopefully you can do this in the second try. Just gotta focus. Not to fuck it up. Alright, he's coming around the left side. I can hit him a bit of times. Before he does his more bullshit and more bull- Yeah, like this, yeah. Of course.
Nice. Now that's how it's done. Now we can head on to the next level. Oh, this ain't the inside. This is like nearly inside the area. Huh. Odd. Okay, so I guess the next level, we just directly go inside. <laughs> C for cuck. I'm approaching the rendezvous point. Show yourself, you pugilistic physignathus! I, Captain Kalau, bring an offering of peace! This music kind of feels like newer Super Mario Bros. Wii OST. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, that game. Yeah, definitely do think so. I might actually think about Let's Playing that game for both versions, the Wii and the DS. I don't, I don't really want to do too much Mario games because no, I'm not that person. Used to, but not anymore. <laughs> yeah. But this is a fan game, so I could let it slide. Like I don't really give two shits of it, so. Maybe I might do it as a Let's Play just for fun. Definitely better to play than any other of these newer Mario games. Like any day of the week. That's that's a factual statement that I just made. Yep, now you have to plug these. Background, it looks pretty cool with the opera and all that. I don't think it's basically inspirational from a level from Sonic, <laughs> which I don't think it has, so... Yeah. I don't know what I have to say. Here it is, here's the badass music of all time. Nah, I'm just joking, all time, like time thing. One of the most badass musics. Oh boy. Yep, we're in the opera, inside. Yeah, background though. Kinda something, isn't it? Yeah, gotta say, it is entirely big. So yeah, let us continue. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say that's a yes right there. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. Oh, here we are. This is the areas. All these areas are based off of the levels you've played so far. Now you can't. Now we only have to do like four of them. So later when we play as a different character, like Carol, for example, we'll cover up the other two. Uh, the the other ones. Yeah, you know. I just have to memorize it down at first. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this in mind just in case. So yeah, so this is the first level right here. Yep, you have vines, of course. Heck, everybody knows that if you played the sample demo. Duh. Oh, what the heck? I think you're supposed to. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, these are stuff that you would have in the first level, of course. Well, I mean. Oh god, damn it. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we need. We need to do this, and we need to head left. Let me get these. Just in case uh, we head back to the museum one day at a point, yeah, we will come back and get all of them wrapped up. And there is something special once you get all of them, 100%. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying the best I can to clear all of them 100%. So yeah. Oh cool, we got the dragon uh, powerhouse. That's cool. Yay!
You're gonna do that one? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought for a sec you were going to do that one. Okay, yeah, that's the second one right there, Shenlin Park, with the tubes and all that. Yeah, there used to be bugs in this, uh, it, mostly in the boss, if you do die while you're in the tubes, you're basically, like, stuck somehow. More like a soft block or something, you have to, like, restart. Yeah, pain in the ass when it comes to these kinds of stuff. I mean, these kinds of stuff, so, yeah. Heh. <laughs> well, you have to know, with the physics in this game, I mean, what do you know? Wait, you're supposed to, you're supposed to head up there. Head up there. Head to that, yeah. That tube up there. There, that's good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Shouldn't surprise me. Hey, aren't these enemies supposed to be... Aren't these enemies supposed to be on the Phoenix Highway? Huh. Very weird. Did they? Oh yeah, that's right. Why are they right there? I have no clue. Just don't know. Oh, there's the plug. Yeah, plug it all in. And then we got... No, oh, what are you doing? He's supposed to go this way. There we go. Yeah, plug it all in, and then we got a few left. Two, actually. This shit feels like I'm playing curling, you know, basically, with the whole kicking these fist things or something like that. Yeah, it does kind of feel like curling. Look at this. Okay, there's one, there's one up there. Um, do you have to open all three? Hmm, how do I open that? Is it... Okay, let me see if there's something in the back, yeah. Surely enough, I'm sure there will be something right there, so yeah. There it is. Yep, there is the one. So with that, uh, let us spread through. <laughs> spread through the walkthrough, everybody. Yes. Let us begin. And yeah, we got this out the back. You're gonna skip the cigar. You know, what is it, the Avon Museum one? You're gonna skip that and do this? Okay then, so that means the next time I do this, I'm gonna do uh, the Avalon Museum and what's that one for? Zowland? Yeah, I guess I'll do those courses, I guess. Eh, good enough. And what would I do for these first two stages? Probably the ones I would probably not play as Carol. That would mean Shenlin Park and. Fuck, what's in our course? God damn it, is it the Phoenix course? I need to relock. It's not part one, of course, that we did, so yeah. Besides, it's a 90 minute episode, of course. This game is incredibly long, and especially when combined with all characters. Um, what are you trying to do? I have no idea how to do this one. <laughs> supposed to like fling yourself up or something or what like I'm supposed to like fling up or something like this oh okay all right all right that explains yeah we gotta have to fling through all the way here so yeah okay so what we have to do is like fling through here to here and then there uh the timing is too deep you need to like grab up some speed or I could just use... Yeah, get, get the heck out of here. Come on. Yes! Okay, good. That was enough speed. God, imagine if I had to do this with other characters. Well, I guess it wouldn't be that hard to do if you play as Carol, I guess. Mila is very easy. And for Nier... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we'll have to see. Oh, God, indeed. <laughs> Nier with the double jump. He's basically... What character has double jumps? I have no clue. Probably sure any character would have that. Maybe Crash? No, not him. But oh boy, the double jump. <laughs> Everybody's worst nightmare. The double jump. 
<laughs> the fucking double jump. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. Alright, we're off. This is it. Let's head on to the boss. Yay! You should do like boss battle inspirations, what are they based off of? Honestly, that might be interesting, but I'm not really sure. There's a lot, many. Come in, Cap. Is everything alright over there? Are you there? Captain? What? what happened? We have to hurry. If the captain is in trouble, we need to save Zhao right now. Mayor Zhao? Where are you? Say something if you can hear us! I smell someone. It's Captain Kalau! Captain, he's alright! Hey, Cap, glad you could make it! Captain, did you meet up with Murga? Did she fall for the decoy? Uh, Captain? There's someone behind him! <laughs> Kari, what are you in short stuff doing here? They're with the monster. What? That's crazy, scary lady. Wrong! We're all buddies and best pals over here. What? What the heck's going on? You're all working for Murga? Are you all brainwashed or something? No, Carol. Believe it or not, I'm doing this for you. Some injustices can never be forgiven. Where is Murga? Everyone, stand your ground! Right! Why can't I sense her? <gasps> so, Hatchling, you've come after all. Where is Zhao? Captain, if you'd please. He's okay! Let's get out of here! I think not. Now that all the players have gathered, it is time for this performance to end. But... but you have Pangu, right? We did what you asked! We had a deal, Murga! The deal did not include distracting me so you could free this miserable speck of a man. Besides, even without my informant, I could clearly recognize the machine you brought as a fish. Whoa! Giant fish lady was a ghost? It's a water dragon, in fact. Never here in the first place. 
Take care of our guests. A delight, ladies. General, come in. Gong, do you copy? Nah, uh, uh, spoilers! Nothing's getting in or out thanks to my signal jammer playmate, casual acquaintance number 47! All fighters, fangs out! You're not actually going to fight your own sister, are you? Of course not. I would never hurt my beloved sibling. You, fight my beloved sibling. Of course. How is this any different? Captain, don't do this. Not only because I still think you're cool and stuff, but didn't I already beat you once the first time? That was the old Captain Kalau. A Captain Kalau that was holding back. Now, he has awakened his true strength with the flames of burning justice. Well, this is gonna suck. Come on, gang. Split them up and take them down. You know, there's a lot of boss battles you could think of for inspiration. You know, it's like, right? Won't fight this shit. No, boy, I never mentioned this in the first game, you know? Everything was just based off of this, this, to this, of course. I mean, what do y'all have to expect anyway? So, of course I wouldn't really do that. Otherwise, I'd have to count the enemies as well and the characters. So, of course I wouldn't really count that in, wouldn't ya? Yeah, this boss could be a pain when you play this the first time. So, yeah. I really like the way that he loves to break pellets, doesn't he? Yeah, of course. Something he loves doing. Look at that. It's a freaking tiger. Is it really? Or is it a lion? Ah, whatever. A most invigorating warm-up, brave fighters. But the battle is just beginning. Behold! My greatest playmate yet! The BFF 2000! Fighters, form up! Three! Two! One! Activate! Activate. Beast 1, checking in! Beast 2, checking in! Beast 3, checking in! Combat mode executed! You know, I have words. What the actual hell is this? To be honest, this is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> They're now fighting a fucking Gundam looking mech. <laughs> I can't believe it. A freaking Gundam looking mech. All the Almighty. All the Almighty. <laughs> well, I mean, all the irony. <laughs> I do not know what to say. Even the music as well. <laughs> it's just, there's no comment. I don't even know. It's like there's nothing you can really say about this. I mean, what the fuck is this exactly? Oh, yeah. All these hologram stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That was them doing the whole shit. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. You know, I think it looks like uh, Mave Sidex. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> That's the... That Mave actually being the furry fetish, of course. Yeah. That nigger. Fuck, I'm almost dead. 
No. Okay. You know. God damn it! I accidentally pressed the button. God flipping damn it! I don't even know what to say about this mech thing. It's so creepy. I don't know. I'm literally like freaking out right now. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It, it, it's gotta be like the most awkward shit I've ever seen. <laughs> We're basically fighting a mech. You don't see this in the Sonic games, or I think you do in the in Sonic 06 with the uh, Egg Genesis. <laughs> I guess that could count. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What the fuck is this? I guess it kind of feels like the final boss of Sonic 2, I guess. Uh, remember when you had to fight the death egg? <laughs> yeah, it looks just like it before. Good day. Yeah. Now we're looking at it, it does kind of look similar. Huh. Oh yeah, and then we have the Egg Dragoon, of course. The Egg, the, you know, the Egg Dragoon, it is pretty large and damn big, you know? <laughs> yeah, it does kind of make sense, come to think of it. <laughs> Look at that size. And there goes Silver Cyber, <laughs> the mech. Oh dear, it got blown up to pieces. Where's the destruction? Oh wait, is that there? Oh no, never mind, it's just a mode. Damn, a C? That's sad. Look, a way out! Come on! Kari! She'll be fine. We need to leave, now. Hey, the parts are still here. No, Never mind. They didn't even show up after us defeated, but only show in a cutscene. What the fuck? How did they get tighter? Gong, do you copy? Magister, Askel, anyone? Useless. This was a trap from the beginning. We need to get back to the Magister. Run, dragon, as fast as you can. <laughs> What about us? Don't worry. I have a cunning plan. Ah, uh, this is so uncool.